I can't believe it's already been one month since I've given birth to Adeline. What? Hey guys, so one thing that I do want to say is this will probably be the last like separate one month or like the separate postpartum video of me personally just because there is not much else that once I have covered like everything on that I have written there will be nothing else I really need to cover on like to make a whole video about unless like something dramatic happened which I doubt anything will so this will probably be like the last one I'll probably still show like um, to you guys my weight loss progress or how my incision looks as I do hers and uh, for one I can't in a way I can feel like with Declan when he turned a month I was like oh my god that went by so quick and this I can kind of see why it's been a month just because over the holidays and everything that we've done and everything we've gone through and everything so I can tell it's been about a month or I guess a month because as I'm recording this she is exactly one month old <sighs> so um in this month I have lost 24 pounds and yeah I feel pretty great about that I don't know how much I lost with Declan right after but I know it wasn't a lot and I also gained a lot more with Declan than I did with her <clears throat> now uh I did stop breastfeeding I didn't stop but uh, my milk ended up drying up and I also thought I was going to be having a, uh, a separate procedure done. And for my sanity, I needed to have... I was either going to pump or supplement with formula. And I'm glad we went ahead and started supplementing with formula because like four days later... I could tell my supply was going down. So four days later, it just ended up going away completely. And everyone's like, it's because you supplemented with formula. But they don't realize that she wasn't eating enough prior to that so I have not breastfed her and can't remember she was like 21 days old I am exhausted but that's I mean that's gonna happen I'm still uh waking up like in the middle of the night I think that is just because I need my like personal space personal hour or something to myself and uh it's usually when Declan's in bed Cliff's in bed and she's out I just come out I usually go in the living room, grab my iPad, either I'll watch a few videos on YouTube or I will, I'll just like scroll through Facebook and Instagram or stuff like that. So if you see me active at like 2 o'clock in the morning, I probably am. Um, other than that, I, my insomnia actually is better than what it was before Adeline. I feel like we are finally getting onto a schedule and I'll put, I'll get more details on her uh thing if you can hear Declan sorry I even have the door shut. um but I will touch more on that with her and my incision is come I mean not completely healed but it's healed enough for me to be cleared to drive even though I was driving before that um cleared to pick up things again cleared to exercise like I'm allowed to do whatever I want. I was going to get the Implanon or Nexaplon or whatever in my arm. I was going to have that for three years and all that. Well, I had talked to my doctor about it because it's something, the hormone that's in it that is usually in birth control that gives me seizures was not in the Implanon. It uh, would, my doctor and I talked about it, it would help me like keep my fibroids from growing back. It would help with the PCOS, it would help with mood, and it would actually put my cycle either where it's not just because my body doesn't want to have a period, but because it would either give me a period every month or it would stop it because of that. Well, my doctor and I had talked about it in the hospital and like we had discussed it all and all that stuff. Well, he told me when I come back in my four week checkup, he will give it to me. Well, within those four weeks, my doctor had decided that he's no longer doing the implant, implant on and he would only do the IUDs or the um, birth control pills and something else. I don't remember what the other one was. Any birth control pill, for some reason, I have worse luck and they all contain the same uh, hormone and, them, and I cannot take that without having a seizure. And then I do not believe in the IUD. So there's no birth control, which is fine because I did not have birth control after Declan. And that's like four year streak of not getting pregnant so i mean i was just look i don't even need it to not get pregnant i just wanted it for like like i said he said it would help with my pcos and all that stuff and so 
with it not um with me not getting it it was kind of like well now i'm more mad because for one like i understand like i would have gone to the appointment anyway but i wouldn't have i made it to where i was like okay i was preparing myself to get this thing in my arm and then i was preparing myself i was supposed to get like a vitamin shot and i was supposed to get a and i was supposed to get blood and i did not do any of that because he wanted me to uh, come back in two weeks and do the glucose test and all that stuff and I sadly won't be able to because I won't have insurance. I feel perfectly fine with the glucose and all of that like I don't feel how I did with the diabetes and stuff. Before Declan or before Adeline I was diagnosed with hypoglycemia and I feel that way because I don't eat but I don't feel I guess sluggish when I do eat so I don't think I really have diabetes anymore eventually yeah, I probably run like tax return that's probably what I will go and spend my part of the tax return on and get the glucose test just so it could be at ease because I'm supposed to go every three months after I have her and then every year after that to be tested because I have a 50% chance of becoming a diabetic and that's not cool but i just can't go in two weeks because for one bills christmas and i have a kid's birthday party after like i have a kid's birthday in like 14 days <laughs> that's another update so that will be another update uh but i can't believe i am already one month and yeah so i have no i guess i can show you my uh stomach but i'm not really going to show you my incision just because I do have the little belly flap and it makes it a little bit harder to get that on video. Maybe I'll get a picture and insert it after all this if you want to see it. And yeah, but I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, here, I guess here's my belly and then bye. Alright, so I, like I said, I've lost 24 pounds and it's not like the best flat stomach straight out. This is my second child, so, and I feel pretty great for actually having two kids and two C-sections. So this is the shirt on, do, and this is with the shirt up, and the pants kind of pulled down. So. So, like I said, I feel pretty great for having two kids and having two C-sections and only being one month postpartum. With Declan, it took forever for me to lose my weight. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!